In this video, I'm going to share with you my top five ways to make money in GT5 Online as a solo player. Coming in at number five is the Acid Lab, the newest business to GT5 Online. This is an incredible passive income business that can earn you upwards of $100,000 every single hour. In order to get one, you'll have to complete six first dose missions, a setup mission, and then you'll be able to purchase it for $750,000. I also highly suggest getting the equipment upgrade, which will require you to do 10 Fuluga missions, but it will greatly increase the amount of money you could make. And that equipment upgrade will cost $250,000. The great thing about the business though, is that in order to unlock it and then get the equipment upgrade, you're already doing a bunch of missions that are paying you money. So at the end of the day, it's a very low cost and affordable business for all players. The way the business works is you purchase supplies. They then get turned into products that you could later on sell for a profit. With the equipment upgrade, it's going to cost $96,000 worth of supplies to get a full acid lab. And that will take anywhere from three to four hours to complete. You could then sell on the supplies for $335,000. But I suggest selling in a public lobby with 25 or more people because then you could bring that up to $500,000. And that's how you could be making $100,000 or more every single hour with the acid lab. There's only one cell vehicle for the cell mission, which is great for solo players. And for the most part, it is a very passive business. Of course, you could have to purchase supplies and do the sell mission, but outside of that, you have absolutely zero work. Two other bonus features of the business is that you could purchase supplies from calling Mutt on your phone, unlike having to go to the business, and it's a mobile business. So you're able to call it up from anywhere on the map and start your sell mission from there. So that plus how much money you can make per hour makes it the number five spot on my list. The number four spot goes to the auto shop contracts. Now you can be making minimum $300,000 every single hour as a solo player. And we'll talk about how in a second, but the cheapest one that you could buy, the cheapest auto shop goes for just under $1.7 million. There are eight different auto shop contracts that you could do, and they're each like mini heists. You get two setup missions plus the finale. They pay out really well. The range is from $150,000 to $270,000. And once you get the hang of them, they only take maybe 20, 30 minutes max. Your first time through, they'll probably take maximum 40 minutes, but once you get the hang of it, you could do a two, three of these every single hour and they have zero cooldown, which is another great bonus of the business. Honestly, the main reason why these are in my number four spot is of course they pay out really well, but it's actually just having the variety and they feel like story mode missions. They feel like I'm being brought back to the original GTA 5 where you're doing heists, you're doing robberies, like the point of the game. So they're really fun to play, they're very simple, they aren't complicated whatsoever, and they pay out really well. In the number three spot is the best passive income business in the game, the nightclub. Now this can earn you upwards of $100,000 every single hour, and this time it is even more passive than for example, the acid lab, and I'll explain that later on but you could purchase one for just over $1 million. It doesn't matter where the location is, but this business is a little bit more complicated and the total setup cost is a lot higher than the rest of these businesses. So in order to max out your money every single hour, you're first gonna need to hire four technicians. You'll have to get more storage space, and then you're also gonna have to own some corresponding businesses in the game. Now there's seven different businesses you could assign your technicians to, but there are five that are the best, and will allow you to max your money. The first one is cargo and shipments, but in order to do so, you're gonna have to own either a CEO cargo crate warehouse or a hangar. The second one is sporting goods, but you'll have to own a bunker in order to do so. The third is South American imports, which you'll have to own a white stuff lockup. The fourth is pharmaceutical research, which you'll need a blue stuff lab for. And the final one is the cash creation, which you'll need a cash factory for. Once you have all that set up, those technicians will start generating you just over $50,000 every single hour. But like I said earlier, this business can make you $100,000 every single hour. So the second $50,000 that's gonna come from this business is the passive income wall safe. Now, if your popularity of your nightclub is maxed out, you will generate $50,000 into your wall safe every single day. And you have to do absolutely zero work for this. There's three different ways to keep your popularity maxed out. You could do a popularity mission. You could also do some of the random events that spawn in the nightclub, or you could do what I personally suggest 
and just rebook new DJs. It's gonna cost money, but it saves on time and makes things pretty simple. Once again, you're gonna get one cell vehicle for this cell mission, which is great. And the nightclub can hold quite a bit of stock. So you don't have to be doing a ton of cell missions. You could just have this going in the background for hours and hours and hours. And then when you feel it's the right time, go on, sell your stock for millions of dollars. Once again, I suggest selling in a public lobby. You'll get that 50% bonus if you sell with 25 or more people. So great way to go about things, but you could be earning over $100,000, even up to about $115,000 every single hour. And like we've said, it's completely passive. The number two spot goes to the agency. Incredible business in the game. There are four ways to make money. They all vary in payout and we're gonna go through them all. But the cheapest agency that you could purchase goes for $2 million. This is a little bit more pricey than some of the other businesses on this list, but it does pay off. So there's four ways to go about making money. The first way and the best way is the Dr. Dre contract. This is like a uh, mini heist or a combination of a bunch of mini heists. You get paid out $1 million and it will take you about an hour and a half of work. There is a one in-game day cooldown once you've completed one, but it's a great thing to do right after doing your KO Prego heist and you have some time to spare. The second way to make money is through payphone hits. These are simple assassination missions. You could do them in like five, 10 minutes. Uh, you're gonna have an assassination to do plus a challenge and you can earn $85,000. There's a 20 minute cooldown, so you could have to, you can only do three of them every single hour, but they are a great way to make money. And the best part about it, at least in my opinion, is that you could call up Franklin to request one at any time. So it's something where you could just make quick money wherever you are on the map. The third way to make money is security contracts. These are like smaller missions. Once again, they take five, 10 minutes. They're fairly simple and they pay out anywhere from 35 to like the low $60,000 range. When they're double money, they're incredible. But one of the biggest advantages or bonuses of them is that they help you generate money in a different way. And that brings us to the fourth way to make money with the agency, which is the wall safe. Similar to the nightclub, there's a wall safe where money will be deposited into it every single in-game day. But in this case, for every security contract you complete, $100 will be added to the total that will be deposited into the wall safe every single in-game day. So if you've completed 100 security contracts, you will have $10,000 deposited into the wall safe. This max out at $20,000, but it is a great way to make some extra cash on the side. And we are finally at the number one spot, and this should come to no surprise. It is the best solo money-making method in the entire game, the KO Perico heist. An incredible heist, insane payouts. The amount of money you could make with it is blow, blows everything else out of the water. It's not even close. But in order to do one, you're gonna to have to have a Kasaka submarine, which will cost 2.2 million. I also suggest getting the Sparrow with it, but it's not required. This heist can be done in about an hour. If you really get into a groove of things, you could get it done in 45 minutes, but it usually pays out on average $1.3 million or more for the heist. So that's $1.3 million or more every single hour, which is incredible. The biggest downside of it though, is that if you're doing it solo, there's going to be about a two and a half hour cooldown once you complete one, which is why I wanted to show you guys everything else on this list as well, because all the other businesses that we mentioned in this video can be used during that cooldown time. You could run the Dr. Dre contract, pay phone hits, auto shop contracts, use them all together. I actually have a full guide on my channel if you wanna check it out, but when you use all of these five methods together, you can make insane amounts of money in the game. Or if you're just a casual player and you wanna come on, play for an hour and make good money, stuff like the Carol Preco Heist is perfect for you. So if you're a money grinder or a casual, it doesn't matter. I hope this list helped and you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.